to. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, what we'd have to do is before you can just say, well, the least common multiple of these polynomials would just be the product of them, the best thing to do is to factor them down first. So here, I could see that I can factor this into x minus 4 times x plus 5. Here, I can factor this into, let's see, 6 and 5, right? So that'd be, oh, did I do that wrong? Hmm. Now, do they have any common factor? Yes. Uh, it would be Yes, thank you. Good. All right. I was wondering. I was like, man, what the heck? I really do that like that. Thank you. All right. So now we're looking at the common factors. What is the smallest factor that both of these would all divide into? Right? Well, you guys can see that they both share an x minus 5. Then for this to divide into a common factor, it also has to contain an x minus 4. Would you guys agree with me? For this to divide into that. We know it has the x minus 5. It also has to now have an x plus 6. So do you guys agree with me that this and this both can be divided into that? Yes? Because just think about it. If I did like x minus 4 over x minus 5, the division of that would just give you an answer of x plus 6. And I could do the same thing with that. So the least common multiple of those, these two, when factored, they have one term in common, which I included, and then the other terms they don't have in common. Does that make sense? OK. So the whole reason why I did that is because